Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining us. If you're new here, thank you for stumbling across this channel. Hopefully you'll get something out of this channel. And if you do, maybe I'll earn your subscription. And also, thank you for all of you who are already subscribed and support this channel. I really just thank you so much and appreciate your support with all that said let's get into today's video so the Washington football team's offensive line at the start of the season when we were one and four the offensive line was just in shambles we kept having a different look of the offensive line every single game because we had people who were injured just people who were just underperforming but honestly, in the past few weeks, we've had more stability at the offensive line, and things are starting to really get better, in my opinion. And I think it's because of the consistent lineup. They have gotten better because I think the offensive play calling, which has been a little bit more run-heavy, obviously, has favored this offensive line. I mean, simply put, running the football has helped the offensive line and it's helped the Washington Commanders' offense as a whole. It's also helped to further develop both Brian Robinson and Antonio Gibson. It's taken a lot of pressure off of Taylor Heineke, who, <laughs> as of right now, he's 4-1. and one. I mean, things are looking up for the Washington Commanders. One particular offensive line person player, whoever you want to call it, they have to, one guy who I really want to call out, who I think has been consistent through all of these changes this year has been Charles Leno. I think Leno, while he has not been on the same level as, of the left tackles that we have seen in Washington, such as Trent Williams or Chris Samuels, he's been more than consistent. He's held his on, and I think most of the sacks that the quarterbacks have taken, it's either been on the quarterbacks or, or it's been a breakdown of, of protection in other areas, like, you know, within that interior of the offensive line. But it's not been from that left tackle position. I, I think that Charles Leno has pretty much held up, which has been a really good thing for this uh, commander's offense. Now, he's not the biggest tackle that you will see in the NFL. In fact, that's one of his knocks, is the fact that he is one of the smaller tackles that you'll see in the NFL. But he's been a pretty solid player, if I, if I do say so myself. Now, you may not be able to see it, or you may not be able to notice it, but I think things are starting to come together for this team and coming together at the right time. It seems like the same story we've seen in the past, though. You know, this Washington team starts off horrible, and they get in, they get into this huge hole, and then suddenly they start digging themselves out of this hole. They get onto this big winning streak, and then they start making a late season push for the playoffs. It seems like this is kind of what this team identifies themselves as. Every single time that they are close to making the playoffs or they actually do make the playoffs this is how they do it and while you know they're technically still out of the playoffs they do control their own destiny i believe and that that i honestly i believe that destiny just it lives and dies by the performance of that offensive line and i think that for the washington commanders for this offense to continue clicking even though you know, they only scored one touchdown yesterday, but they were able to move the football up and down the field after a slow start. It a lot depends on that offensive line, and the offensive line for the most part has played better. I've seen that offensive line make a push forward instead of get pushed backwards, and they have to continue to consistently play that way, and I think because that we're sticking with the run, that's going to help them overall. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you agree that the offensive line has improved? What else do they need to improve on? I know they need to improve a little bit more on the passing, pass protection and stuff like that, but I think they have. Let me know what you think and left hand up, folks. 
Hell to the Commanders. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.